I went with a Corona and got the pineapple mojito. And um, this is where she actually found her favorite drink. Four years ago, they made her a pineapple mojito that she has never forgotten. How's this one? Just as good. Yeah? Perfect. You will never get a better mojito anywhere else. That good. Hey guys. What's up, True Ventures? We are now in Puerto Rico. We've long awaited this trip. We are so happy to be here. And we are on a peninsula at the Hyatt Grand Regency. This is one of the most beautiful beaches we have ever seen. Ever. It's so gorgeous. We have a great day planned. We're here for about four or five days. It's just so great to be back. We used to say at Wyndham Grand Rio Mar, about two miles east of us up the uh, coast here, and I have to say that this experience already has been by far better than the other one. Guys, we got upgraded to an oceanfront room. We booked a garden view when we got here. Our room was a little bit delayed and then they upgraded us. So that was definitely a huge treat. We are going to check out a bunch of the amenities here. Let you guys see the pool. It apparently has the biggest pool in Puerto Rico. Can't so wait. yeah, we're lucky I to have that wait. here. <laughs> The ocean actually breaks about 200 yards out, so the waves that you get here are almost nothing. You know, I it's, it's am like going to just be laying in that water all day, I think. Yeah. You'll be lucky if you get a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. But yeah. right now we're about to head downstairs, so let's get going. So as you walk out of this bedroom, before we go over there, this is completely understated how amazing this view is. Guys, the water is turquoise blue as far as you can see to the horizon you have like this other peninsula on the left on the uh, west side towards san juan it is just magnificent the palm trees that you look through kind of frame every every scene that you're looking at there's nothing better than this i don't think we've ever had better wet weather hon no, so this is going to be our view for the foreseeable future check in late last night and now seeing the property during the day we're even more blown away it's so beautiful they really do take care of this place really well it's like fairmont i mean they take care of it like that if you guys haven't seen our mexico video make sure to check that out we will link it in the description but they do have a lot of golf carts around here just helping people go from place to place we had a little tour last night before going into our room and the guy was really nice walking up to the main pool tons of cabanas places to sit and then behind me is a convention area where they have weddings conferences little get-togethers just really beautiful grounds very secluded very private and the music is going so we're gonna head over there and check out the pool so guys, they have reservable cabanas here and you can basically just stop by the towel hut and reserve one that way or you can scan the QR code um, that allows you more information about these reservations. These cabanas are huge too. It looks like you can fit at least three or four people in one. Like we said, this pool is massive, you guys. It's humongous. The biggest pool we've ever seen for sure and they do have a pool bar which is Pretty tempting right now, but we haven't even had breakfast yet. They do not have lifeguards at these pools, remember that. Uh, so you have to swim at your own risk, obviously. No diving, it's not that deep of a pool, and uh, no running, we're horseplay. <laughs> so there's this little section at the far end of the pool of cabanas that you can hang out in. This looks like a really relaxing place to go. And just chill out, there's not a lot of people over here. picnic bench 
right next to the food truck. We're just waiting on a menu. Sitting here under the umbrella, the breeze is beautiful. Looking out at the ocean, it doesn't get much better than this. Apparently this is a stationary food truck. This doesn't go anywhere. They have their, its own power station right here in between the pool and the ocean. Little fun fact, we got one of the menus, but it turns out that this is basically the kitchen for the outside bar here mm -hmm. at the pool. It's not necessarily a, a food truck that you can walk up to and order. You have to do it at the bar first. And that's why it's stationary and it never moves. Right, right. <laughs> food has been ordered. We went with the La Mixta. It looks really good. It has pork belly, coconut rice, avocado, right up our alley, very authentic to Puerto Rico. There is a little number system here at all the picnic tables. We are number 119, so they're gonna bring our food right over. We got a virgin strawberry daiquiri since it is only like 11.30 in the morning. We're just yeah. being very smart. <laughs> Great, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. These are the fried plantains. These are amazing, guys. They look really charred and flavorful. Let's see how it is. Sweet, crunchy, kind of tastes like a home fry on the outside a little bit. But that banana really comes through the plantain. Excellent. Then they have the onions with the rice. I know, that's coconut rice. Is it good? I'm gonna love it. Yeah. That's why I wanted to order this, you guys, because of the coconut rice. Oh, really? <laughs> that's awesome. And then the um, the pork. Pork belly, is it? Pork belly. So pork belly going in. <laughs> mm. Crispy, juicy. Tender. Tender, fat. There's a little fat in there, giving it flavor. And then the beans. You gotta have the beans. There's carrots and onions and I think peppers in there. This is Puerto Rico. This is Puerto Rican food. This truck itself is called Rincon Criollo. And Rincon is on the west side of Puerto Rico, the island. So I'm guessing that these are all recipes that originated in that area. You're gonna love this. the hotel lobby and the word for this trip I think is beyond because it is so gorgeous so intricate so detailed the structure of this place is just beautiful there's all these little areas and coves and water and plants like Dave said before there is a little bar that we ate at last night there's also two other restaurants one's Japanese a steakhouse as well I and think tomorrow night we're gonna eat at the Japanese restaurant the Asian restaurant is called Nori and then the steakhouse is prime 787 at Nori there's these little areas where you guys can eat privately so I think we're gonna try and request that for tomorrow evening so cool so romantic you're right on the water with the lily pads. Feels like you're in Asia. Just very, very neat. The steak place is on the other side, I believe. And that looks really neat as well. Can you get in there, Ann? Sweet. Wow, this is amazing. Guys, look at this place. It's fine dining if I ever saw it. Oh, and there's this whole room in here that's usually probably lit. I don't know if my camera can get it, but pretty neat. Everywhere you look in this place is another picture. You could take picture after picture after picture and just get a ton of different shots. Like you could do the coolest photo shoot here ever you guys yeah I've rarely been to a place that actually has this many vantage points um, that just make you feel different each time you look around I mean it would it would take a long time for you to get used to this place mm -hmm. and you guys can park right on property for around $16 per night which isn't too bad we actually rented a car right at the airport drove here and it only took us about 19 minutes not too far. We're very close to El Yunque Rainforest and we will be heading there tomorrow. 
Dave's back there practicing his swing. <laughs> Not randomly either. They actually have a top golf here. So I guess it's a suite for groomsmen or whatever. I don't know. Looks pretty cool. Uh, we haven't found that yet, but we can go check it out. We can ask the front desk, they'll tell us where it is. Um, do I look like him? <laughs> and if you make your way past the lobby bar, you will stumble upon a gorgeous courtyard area. There's a beautiful fountain right in front of me. Lots of trees, a nice sitting area, lamp posts. This is really beautiful at night. A great spot to just sit and have a drink. And then right in front of me is actually a marketplace that you guys can grab some quick service items at. They have all different types of snacks, drinks, little baked goods. So a great spot just if you're grabbing something on the go. And then to the left of that is that pool table that I was talking about inside in the air conditioning, which is really nice. We will definitely be doing that later on. We found this really sick spot that is completely exclusive to only two people that can fit there right in a bush. <laughs> this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we found this really cool spot that we had two beach chairs at and uh, it's just like a really awesome place. So we're gonna show you it right now. It's like kind of a secret. You have to walk a ways, but we're going now. The sunset is so beautiful right now. We're gonna take a little picture like we did the first time we came here to Puerto Rico. And that's actually our thumbnail for our channel. As you guys see, when you click on the Treventures, you will see our silhouette. And that's actually here in Puerto Rico at the other hotel we used to stay at. Here is the little hidden gem that we found today. We literally sat in these two chairs all afternoon and just had this gorgeous view. No one was around us, so secluded, so pretty. The weather right now is beautiful, 80 degrees. The humidity is very, very low, so it just feels so beautiful out. Look at that. We are here at Nori Asian Grill and we are ready to order some Japanese food. I think we're gonna get some hibachi, maybe some sushi, I don't know yet. But uh, this will be good. We just ordered our dinner and they let us get hibachi, you guys. Very accommodating. So I went with the shrimp hibachi, Dave got some steak, and then we did the dumpling for our appetizer. It's about to come out. really good like I said they were able to give me the hibachi which I was very happy about but the best was definitely their appetizers the dumplings were really really good and the egg roll was one of the best so I think we're gonna end the night here we'll see you guys bright and early in the morning good night everyone so we are here at our local bakery it's called PR bakery and um, we usually get breakfast sandwiches and stuff before we go into El Yunque. They have a bunch of stuff in here, guys. Lots of pastries, lots of breakfast sandwiches. Let's go see. Okay, so we just got our sandwiches. Um, she got an egg and cheese sandwich, I got a bacon egg and cheese sandwich with mayo and mm -hmm. uh, and sweet bread some kind of sweet bread they had the option of doing a salty bread versus a sweet she got the salty and I went with the sweet just to see what it's like I've mm -hmm. never had it before then we also got some pastries that look really good oh yeah we got so yeah let's do these sandwiches first and okay. then we'll do the pastries I love a good egg and cheese. <laughs> here's here's what that sweet bread kind of looks like. It's it's different. Yeah, it has a hard edge to the. Uh, it's kind of like a crunch wrap. If you've had a crunch wrap supreme from Taco Bell, mm -hmm. pretty much like that on the outside. Cheers. Cheers. 
Mmm, that's really mm. good. With mm -hmm. mayo. Mm -hmm. Eggs and mayo. You would never think that. Can you taste the mayo? Yeah, it's good. Because there's bacon, so it's... Mm -hmm. Very flaky, the bread. Mm -hmm. I got the salty bread. Mmm, butter. Really good. Oh my god, this is so good. And that place is pretty busy in there. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a popular spot for locals. And if you are coming here, obviously just stop by, give them business. This is an art district. So it actually holds one of our our favorite um, little galleries here. And also across the street from that, it's Mi Vida Cafe, which we get burgers and, and empanadas mm -hmm. and all that stuff at Mavitos. every time we come here. So great spot. If you're going to El Yunque, you come back and you can hit up either the the PR bakery here mm -hmm. or Mi Vida for a drink and a burger or whatever you want. It's awesome. So we also got these pastries right here. This is the guava and cheese. I thought it was cherries, but it's I think it's guava or something like that. And then this is the, uh, what do they call this? It's like their cannoli. Cannoli with cannoli, cream yeah. inside. Yeah, so that should be really good. Guys, this guava and cheese pastry Danish, whatever you want to call it, is the softest bread I've ever had. I would get so enormous <laughs> if I had this closer to my house. <laughs> oh my god, you have to try this right now. I'm still eating the egg. Trust me. That's so, mm. You'll never mm -hmm. have a better pastry. I've never had a better pastry. We've been to Paris. It's so soft. New York, Paris, nothing like PR Bakery. And it's like $2. It's, yeah. <laughs> Get that. Come here and get that. I don't know how to explain how good that is. You need that in your life. Oh my god. And I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm more of a salty person. I would rather have, <laughs> more of a salty person. Mm -hmm. True. I would rather have chips because I'm a chip girl. But that, 10 out of 10. Easy. 10 11 out of 10. Out of 10. Yeah. So our vlogging camera has died. <laughs> I dropped it yesterday when we were on the beach uh, for sunset and now the lens cap won't open so we can't use it. So we'll be doing a little on the iPhone. At least it is 4K and then also we do have Dave's really good camera so we'll be doing a lot on there as well. Just got to Fajardo and it is beautiful out, you guys. We pulled up to our favorite little restaurant that's no longer our favorite little restaurant here. It's now called El Cayo and they're actually closed. Yeah, they probably just opened up for dinner. La Ola used to be here and it's a shame it's not here anymore. But it's still, they still kept the kind of, th they, they actually made it nicer. It they, does they look nice. They put some money into it. Yeah. Um, the last time we were here, Hurricane Maria had just ravaged all of this. So it looks so much nicer already. Mm -hmm. The palm mm -hmm. trees are back in full bloom and everything like that. There's a fire tree right out here, which is beautiful too. So pretty. Um, Love that. Fajardo is a very important spot to be because that is one of the places where you can get a ferry to Calabria and uh, Vieques or Vieques. Um, I know that Vieques has an airport. So you could take a small a plane from San Juan or wherever you're coming from and land it there You can't there's no commercial jets. I don't think it's too small of an airport But this actually sits right at the base of this big marina where everybody's taking all of their boats out to go to the islands off the shore here Dave said the restaurant does look great. They even have a little pool and hot tub area, which is pretty neat They are open right now, but we may come back here a little later on We will be stopping at the kiosks later tonight that's going to be a real treat you guys there's a bunch of different places locally to eat and they have bars and all different kinds of things so we are finally heading over to El Junque and we'll be in the rainforest La Coco Falls because we actually can't get in like Dave told you. You need to make a reservation. This was never the 
case, I think after COVID, this is when this all began. So make sure you guys check out the website. It's recreation.gov and you can make a reservation on there one to two days in advance. But we found this little spot right before and you can see the tower over there, Yokahu Tower. And then behind me is the beautiful ocean. It looks great. So this is a great little viewing point. If you can't go in, you can always stop here and take some pictures. So a little bit up the stream from where you, where most of the locals come to this little secret spot in the river, there's a little place where you could theoretically get in here and walk down to the place where everybody else is at. It looks like there's a pathway to get here uh, from the road and you're just in the thick brush here. Kind of dangerous walking down the street, but most people aren't driving too fast. But we're just gonna make our way down the street a little bit more to this El Yunque secret treasure. The secret place, you guys, is right across from the El Yunque Treehouse. It's a restaurant that he, that was opened up a couple years ago here. This actually used to be an old bar about 10 years ago or so. First time I ever came here, I came with one of the couples. I was shooting their wedding, and uh, this was one of the local spots that we stopped at before going to the uh, rainforest to take some pictures. But that, that's no longer there. This is, and it looks awesome. It looks pretty cool. They have an extensive menu all Puerto Rican traditional food and uh, they say it's the taste of the rainforest. spot for lunch and drinks at Mavita. Dave did tell you a little bit about that before. They have a lot of burgers and pinatas. Their mojitos though are my absolute favorite. You can get them with pineapple and mint and they're just so refreshing, so good. They have made a lot of improvements. The outside looks very fresh, freshly painted, so let's go inside. We are waiting to be seated in the back of Navita. It is even better than the front, you guys. This is brand new to the establishment. I think he built it around two years ago, so we love it back here. Super beautiful, TVs on the wall, a full bar, so it's a great spot. They have a beef empanada here. Really good, and they have some sauce that you can dip it in. little lunch spots, so inexpensive. They have all different types. They have chicken, they have beef, really good, very tender, very juicy, perfect afternoon snack. On special, they have Madaya and Michelob at 150 a beer, which is unbelievable. That price, you can get a Corona here for four bucks. This place is really special back here. They, he built it two years ago. It used to be just the front part. It's why we're sitting there earlier, and the inside seating. And um, and now it's just amazing back here. So we met Raul back four years ago. He said he was going to make this place happen. He freaking did it. And he also has banana trees. All planted around the perimeter of this little area back here. But he's he's on a trip in the States right now. Unfortunately, we couldn't see him. But he always likes our stuff on 